welcome back everyone, it's Scott here. Here I am, first uh, DIY video back since uh, injuring myself on my track bike. Broke a couple of bones, had to have surgery, so I've been out of action for about uh, 10 weeks. Uh, today my vehicle, the uh, C320 CDI, is due for its uh, two yearly brake fluid flush and change. All these uh, modern vehicles now with ABS systems, uh, generally they require you to use a pressure bleeder and this is the system I use, a very simple arrangement. Uh, you pick them up off eBay for around about $40 Australian. Uh, the source of pressure is uh, one of the tyres, so you just hook that onto your front tyre and that cap there replaces the cap on the master cylinder reservoir. The kit comes with several different size caps. So you'll generally find one that will fit. If it doesn't, you can always use your existing cap, drill a 10 millimetre hole through it, and then you can put put this fitting on. You can put that fitting on there, uh, and then after you're finished, you just uh, plug it back up again with a rubber bung. So this is very easy to use. Uh, so I'm going to show you how to do it. What I've done here, fellas, uh, is I've lifted the front of the vehicle and put it on axle stands. I haven't taken the wheels off, I probably don't need to because you can actually get to the, the bleed nipples quite easily, but it just makes it easier if you've got a bit more clearance. So I've lifted the front up and I've also lifted the back up uh, just on the suspension. The back wheels are still touching the ground, but I've just lifted the body up so I can get to the rear bleeders. They're, again, quite easy to get to without taking the wheels off. And here's the master cylinder reservoir right here. So the first thing I've got to do is I'm going to siphon out the existing brake fluid. Now what I tend to do is uh, use a different coloured brake fluid each time because it makes it easier to see the new stuff coming through. So the fluid in there at the moment uh, is, is the yellow sort of clear stuff from memory. Yeah, there it is there. So. I will use, I think this new stuff I have is a green colour, so I'll use that this time and then next time I'll go back to the yellowy stuff. Just makes it a lot easier to see it coming through. Okay, first thing I'm going to do is uh, siphon the old fluid out of the reservoir. So using my famous uh, sports drink bottle special tool here um, that has the little hole in the top. What I'd, do is just um, you know suck a bit on that to um, start the siphon going and just siphon the, the old fluid out into this container. So let's just do that first. Okay, that's uh, siphoning out nicely. Okay, so that was very quick and simple. So there's all the old fluid in there. Okay, next thing to do is, here's my new brake fluid. I'm using a good quality DOT4 fluid. So I fill the reservoir up, fill it right to the top. And then I fill the uh, pressure bleeder up as well. You can see it's got a minimum line on. And it has a magnetic base, which is quite handy, so it'll just you know, stay in place. So I'm going to open the other bottle and put a bit more in. This fluid was green, but it's not. It's uh, it's also a clear, but it's a bit clearer than the other stuff, which was more yellow. So hopefully, I'll be able to detect the new stuff coming through. Okay, so that's about enough. So now what we do is uh, put the cap on here. Now you've got to do it nice and tightly so it seals. Because remember, we're going to put this whole lot under pressure. Now, the, the maximum pressure you can use in the pressure bleeder is 20 psi. So I normally um, yeah, let the front tyre down to a bit less than 20. And I have a compressor here in my garage, so then I'll just pump it up again afterwards. So, screw the cap on here. It has a valve on the top, so I'll close the valve first. 
The first thing to do is to pressurise the system, open the valve and check that nothing's leaking. So we'll do that. Okay, that's sitting on about 19 psi, so that's close enough. We'll put, put the pressure line on. And that's got a lock on it, so that's now locked into place. Okay, now I'm going to open up the valve and just check that everything is sealed. Which it is, so that's good. So everything's pressurised now, there's nothing leaking. And for good measure, I'm going to put a rag around here just in case some brake fluid does weep out because uh, it doesn't do the paint a lot of good. You always start with the wheel furthest away from the reservoir, so um, I will do the left hand rear first, then the right hand rear, then the left hand front, and then finally the right hand front. Okay, I'm over at the left hand rear wheel now and you can see the bleeding nipple there with a rubber cap on it. So all I've got to do is take that rubber like that. Then I'm going to stick my uh, hose on there. I've got a hose, plastic hose and a, a, a bottle. And the Mercedes are always difficult because they use odd size fasteners so the, you need an 11 millimetre uh, ring spanner so to undo that plastic tubing on and I've got the 11mm spanner there ready to undo that nipple and there's the tubing here going into just a glass jar got the lid on just punched a hole in the top stuck the tube into there so very simple I just open that bleeder valve now and the pressure will force the new fluid through the system and come out here the fluids just flowing through now into the bottle here I am at the left hand front. I decided to take the wheels off because it was just easier and it's uh, easier for you to see. Same size ring spanner, 11 millimetres. So we'll open that up. And there you can see the fluid comes pouring out. You can see it running into the bottle there. And last one, right hand front. Here it goes roaring out. So that's it. I think that's about done. So I've finished. So all I've got to do now is uh, put the wheels back on and take it off the stands and she's finished. There's a little bit of brake fluid uh, up near the reservoir there that leaked out so I'm going to hose it off with water. So here I am just taking the car for a short test drive just to show you that the brakes work very well. I'm going to stomp on the brakes, uh, do an emergency stop just to show you that everything's fine. So here we go, I'll take my hands off the wheel. Works perfectly, the ABS came on then. So thanks very much for watching, I hope you enjoyed the video.